Yay! So cool. Hey guys, how are you feeling? Good? Not so good? Or maybe you're hungry? Or are you watching this on your bed? Well, whichever it is, I hope this video will cheer you up and provide wholesome relaxation. We're going to be painting one of my favorite things, the sky and clouds too. Well, they go together, so yep. This is my first time to use gouache paint, but I'm so stoked, guys. This set was from Sekaido in Japan last year when I was still excited about the place. Well, things change, but that's a story for another time. Since this is a primary color mixing set, it only has three basic colors plus black and white, so we gotta mix the paint, which is actually pretty fun. When you have the essentials, the possibilities of making more colors are endless. Isn't it fascinating how even just a tiny drop of color can change another color when mixed together? Many aspects of life are like that too. One tiny bit of something can affect another thing. This is why it's so important to choose who we blend with deeply. Meanwhile, let's make some pastel colors. Well, actually, you can just dilute and mix a ton of water to the paint. But for this one, we will increase the tint. Just add white to the ones we mixed earlier. The more white you apply, the lighter and more subtle it gets. How awesome is that, right? Just like making cotton candy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, just a quick disclaimer. It's my first time using gouache, so let's just say it's a little bit messy, but still a fun and relaxing experiment. So, I'll be painting different clouds that I photographed from home, each with their own uniqueness and personality. You can also try it after we're done. And while we're painting, let's have a casual chat about You've guessed it, the sky. If you've been feeling anxious, restless, or lazy lately, or if you just want to nature and chill, this one's for you. It's an awesome exercise to loosen up a bit. It's just so freeing. So we're just following the general shapes and freely filling them up with paint. We don't even need to follow the exact thing we see because in real life, in a matter of seconds, clouds shift and move. The view from a minute ago is totally different from the view three minutes later. And so much more different a few hours later. Ever imagined how the sunrise sky turns into a sunset sky in 12 hours? Again, it's much like life, right? 
it is the few small changes that go unnoticed in between here and there that actually lead us to the bigger picture. While we're at it, I want to ask you a couple of questions. How's your sky there now? Just blue? <laughs> or scorching hot? Mm, you're not that interested? Too busy to see? <laughs> well, that's okay. Or maybe you're one of those people who love the sky as much as I do. Or even more. If so, what's your favorite type of sky? The clear blue one that stretches across the horizon? Or the ones filled with random blobs of cotton and streaky feathers? Do you prefer the subtle, pastel sky over the bold, vibrant one? Or you see no difference? Hmm. Oh wait, I have an idea. Maybe you could just take your time and reflect on this for a while. If I were trapped inside my room for a couple of years, can't go outside and haven't seen the sky for so long, but been yearning to see it even just once, and we don't have phones to take photos, how would you describe to me in your own words the most beautiful sky you've ever seen? Or the kind of sky you look forward to seeing every single day? Was that too much? <laughs> it can be quite challenging to put the sky into words, right? It's so much easier to just show a photo. But here's how a certain character described the sky. Maybe she could help us. The sky is blue today, and there is a big long cloud, and it's stretched out like a rope. At the end of it, the sun is like a yellow hole. And another. The last time I saw her was red. The sky was like soup, boiling and stirring. In some places, it was burned. There were black crumbs and pepper streaked across the redness. Are you familiar with these lines? They're actually from The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This read gives interesting perspective and insight on how we see the world. But lucky for us, the sky is just a glance away. One of the reasons why I love the sky is... It's free! Come on guys, who doesn't like free things? You don't? Well, that's a surprise. God gave us a lot of beautiful and free things, and the sky is just one of them. Again, it's free, it's beautiful, it's a blessing. Not to mention, it's not illegal. <laughs> anyway, no matter how it looks like, whether it's calm or lively or sometimes even dull, it's still the same sky, just embracing its moods and quirks throughout the day, throughout different seasons, but still the same sky nonetheless. Hmm, doesn't that remind you of people? We're much like the sky, aren't we? Created beautifully and loved by the one who made us, no matter how uncertain and ever-changing we are, just like the sky. As an artist and as a person who creates stuff myself, one of the many things that nature and creation taught me is that behind something beautiful, behind every masterpiece, is a creator who made it into being putting heart and thought into it. So, if you ever feel lonely, unheard, unseen, which we all do sometimes, don't worry, you're not alone in that. Let the sky remind you that there is always someone who sees you and hears you, even when words fail to leave our mouths, even when we don't know the words to say. The one who put the sky in its place the same one who made you with great detail and craftsmanship. How cool is that? He may seem far away, which is an awful feeling, right? Yeah, we know that feeling. But he's always there, closer than you can ever imagine. Most of the time, we think we can't reach him, 
But in those moments, he will be the one to meet us right where we are. He brings the sky right on our palms. And we're done, finally. Wow, I talked a lot, huh? Well, it's your turn. I love hearing your stories and insights too. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you haven't noticed yet, I love reading. And it's nice when you share your heart to our community. Also, let me know which sky painting we made is your favorite. Mine's the first one. But I actually love them all. And also let me know what you would like me to paint next. Painting with gouache is so enjoyable. Compared to watercolor, gouache is easier to blend and the matte finish is perfect for illustration. Can't wait to capture more moments with this palette. If it's difficult to see the sky from where you are, I'm glad that we were able to bring the sky to you. Always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside